Hi, in this video on my series on the new IO link that works with the Sky high definition satellite receivers, I'm going to cover the topic of problems, troubleshooting, and what should and shouldn't work. Okay, so I'm going to start off here by covering the one which is the most fundamental, which is that um, possibly the light isn't coming on on your Sky Eye or it's flashing on and off. Okay, well, the first thing to do is the fact that the light is on doesn't mean that the RF power output on your box has actually been set on. There's a possibility it hasn't, because this light will come on regardless of that, which is a strange feature, but that's it. Um, what I'm going to fundamentally say, fundamentally say about the IO links things is it's not as good in terms of its robustness of how well the RF2 9 volt work, but you know that's just the way it is. There's no RF2 out on the new sky boxes, so we have to cope with it. Uh, as best we can, okay? So, you know, the IO links work relatively well. Um, so the first tip here I'm gonna to say to you is, and I covered it in an earlier video, but just quickly, if you went to the services menu and just hit zero, zero, 001 select, just make sure to come down to the RF outs here and just make sure that your output is on, okay? And just save that setting. Now, if you already have the IO link connected when you're after doing this, it can be best to actually disconnect the I.O. link, power off the box and power it back on with the I.O. link uh, and put the I.O. link back in at that point because for some reason, for certain I.O. links, they prefer that, to end, that that feature be turned on before the I.O. link is added. Another feature uh, complaint that people will regularly have or potentially have is that uh, they're trying to run it to one room and it works perfectly, but they try to run it to multiple rooms and it won't work. Why is that? Well, once again, it comes back down to a lack of capacity coming from the I.O. port on the output. So if we have something like a traditional setup where you have a Sky Plus box, would say, it's running off an RF2 and you upgrade to the new Sky Plus HD box, it's no RF port on it, so you're decided to use an I.O. link. And you're feeding into, would say, something like a lab here, four-way link amplifier. This, hasn't, this one here normally is used without a power supply onto it. So what's happening here is it's dra drawing all of its power from the I.O. port through the I.O. link, okay? And it may not be sufficient to power a number of Sky Eyes. So in such a situation, what you'll have to do is either restrict yourself to a single uh, output, um, which might be practical for you. You could change it out for a power distribution amplifier such as this one, which actually has a power plug on it, so it can feed multiple eyes and it should be able to work fine with the I.O. link. Or the third option would be, if you were actually using the Triax Tri-Link, or IO link, which is a very clever little design. Uh, one thing you'll note on it here is it actually has a power input on it. So it means that if you come along and it's working fine, uh, you don't need to use the power supply. But if you do need a power supply, you can actually come along and you can power the IO link to boost the level of the, the signal and the, both the, the voltage and average, make sure it's, it's sufficient to power something like a link amplifier to power multiple rooms. So, and the modular format of the Triax one, I have to say, is very attractive because you can buy the initial thing and add on later at a later point. So that, that would be another uh, typical um, uh, setup on it. And that, that, that's ma mainly the same things. If you come along and uh, if you had a very long run between point A and point B, you might need to put in a booster to boost your signal on it. But mostly, I would say, most people who are buying IO links, it just works straight off. Particularly if the setup is quite simple where you just have a second room uh, and it just runs directly off the first one. So that's it anyway. Hopefully those few tips and pointers there will be of some assistance to you. So that's just a little bit on the troubleshooting on the uh, new IO links for use with the Sky uh, high definition satellite receivers.